Right. Hello everyone. Uh, sorry about that. My it wasn't recording any audio for the game. I don't know why, but it wasn't. So anyway, that's that fixed. Um, how are you all doing? I'm good. Uh, hi everyone that is in. So since last stream, which was yesterday, sort of afternoon. Um, um, So yeah, since the yesterday after stream, I have put the combine away, moved the trailer and put the grain in the thing, and I've started stacking the bales. I know I wasn't going to do anything. Um, I know it's been a while, I know it's been, I know I did say I wasn't going to do anything, but I was a bit bored yesterday, so I thought, oh, I thought I'd just do all that stuff. Um, hello RT, how are you? I'm good mate, how are you keeping? Can you get a Massey? Don't start this, because we're not fucking getting anyone. What tractor is that? This is a John Deere 6430, which is the little loader tractor we have. Can you do a multiplayer game soon? Yes, we probably will do one very soon. Um, so in the last stream, I bought the cattle body for this as well, but we need to wait to get that. Still... Still plenty of bales to collect. Yep, uh, I think if we go in the... Where is it? Is it here? Yeah, so there's 40 bales we made yesterday. Um, so I'm going to... I think I'm, I'm either going to sell them or stack them. And I think I'm just going to sell them for now. Because we haven't got any cows or anything. But then again, if we get cows, we need to have some kicking about so I don't know yet but it's me Leo who you put in timeout I know I put you in timeout because you kept asking for a tractor when we said no more tractor selections and everyone was getting very annoyed including me so it, it doesn't seem fair that everyone should have to listen to you just keep saying the same thing over and over again right so we'll crack on with this bit of bale collecting. I have turned the game volume up slightly because I don't think you could hear it very well yesterday. I can't really stack bales in cab very well so we aren't going to be using in cab much. Now what I could have done is gone around the field and paired them all up which probably would have been a bit better. Hello, hello Shane, how you doing? Maybe keep like 10 or 15 bales and sell the rest. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good shout actually. Maybe a trailer full and then sell the rest. Because the amount of cows we're going to have aren't going to be that much. Did anyone... I can't remember if anyone answered yesterday. If you put, if you get the calves from the other farm and you let them grow up, can you put them in your cow pen? Or do you have to just sell them as calves all the time? Like, if they grow up, can you actually put them in the thing? Good you? I'm alright. Me it. Just bored of this lockdown. So, we're going to play some farm sim. Now, we are joined by James, but he isn't here at the moment, so... When he reappears, we will... Come back on. Rip. I, this tractor actually suits this quickie loader. This might be the bigger one. I can't remember if it is, but it seems to handle it quite well. Can you show us the calves? Hi, hi Gavin. Can I show you the calves? Yes, I'll have a quick jump over to the calf farm. So, as you're looking at the map here, this is the main farm at the bottom here. And you come to this sort of little farm here. Visit... What the hell is that? Let's play. I thought there was a tractor over here. So you come in here and you can... This space doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if it's just a feed area. But this space here is the calf. So you can have calf, black and white, black or brown. So I was just thinking if, if we got a few of these to start with and put them in here, could we then move them once they've grown? But I don't. I haven't had a conf confirmation that that actually works. So I don't really want to splash any money on it. Because we aren't cheating any money in, as you can see, we're only on 58,000. So we need to kind of save as much as we can. Good way to spend time. It is, actually. I think most people are bored of the lockdown now. It's just boring. Yeah, it is. 
and uh, that deer suits the map. It does actually. If you have Snapchat, what's your name? My name on Snapchat is FarmingMan19YT. Um, I'll just punch it into the chat so everyone knows. That's my Snapchat if anyone's interested. Hi Zach, how's it going? It's going alright, thank you. Um, but yeah, the lockdown is starting to take the piss really. But we've got another week yet before it's over. So, might as well carry on. Um, but yeah, the calves are uh, a good investment, I would say, because they're cheaper than the cows, but then you've got to raise them all and everything. So I don't know yet. We'll probably do both eventually, but for now I just want to do one. And stuff like that. Yeah, that's all. So we're going to take this trailer back to the farm and we'll stack it and then we will get rid of the next the next trailer we will put in to sell and then the next trailer after that we'll probably keep. Because um, we have, I didn't, we have got a grass field. Uh, I think if I look on the map, I'm pretty sure that this field here is cultivated. It's ready for seeding so we can uh, stick something in there. But we have this 21, which I think is this field here with the road running through it. So we can mow that and get some bales uh, done. Because we have got a round baler. We haven't got a ted or anything like that. So I'm glad I live on a farm because I still allowed out on the farm. So I'm not completely into my house. Yeah. To be fair, I've been outside and play and used my tractors and done a few jobs and stuff like that. Mowed, you know, grass and stuff like that. It, it's uh, it's just getting a bit boring, to be fair. But that's just how it is. So. But it means I get to spend time actually doing stuff on my YouTube channel, like live streaming. Um, I could have made this into a series and recorded it, but it I don't know. The recordings just don't seem as fun because there isn't as many people interacting. And I have to wait. I have to edit it, then upload it, and then wait for the comments to ask. Hi, Adam. You know, it's a bit slow. Now, this may be a bit wrong to how you do it in real life. But these bales are going for sale, so the stacking doesn't really need to be... Oh, no. These bales are going to the yard, sorry. The next trailer is going for sale. Oh, come on, you bugger. I remember when you played this map on 15. I did uh, I did a big series on 15 of it. Uh, which was... It was quite a popular series. Uh, I did try and make it as interesting as I can, but the problem I have is sometimes if I play a map too much, which I was playing that Sandy Bay map even when I wasn't recording, uh, I get quite bored. It's quite a weird thing. Um, I have a I have a uh, Shamrock Valley, is it? I think it's called. Anyway, I have a save game on that with Seasons, and that's on about 30 hours, but I haven't been on it for a few weeks because I've just... I didn't want to get myself too bored of it and delete it. Oh, stay on. Yeah. So we will have to get the old cultivator in here. So what we might do is cultivate and then... Uh, and then get the cedar going in. We might put this tractor on the cedar in the, ne the field next to us and plant something in there and then put the next um, the bigger tractor which is the TM I'm pretty sure that's what we've got uh, we'll put the TM in here with the cultivator and then we shall uh, 
Let's see, because I've turned periodic player. I've just been watching your FS Spring Hill farm series. Now that was a brilliant series. I love that series. I played that that save game when I finished playing, which I got up to 53 episodes. That had 110 hours on, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I Yeah, I keep putting about 40 hours on the save and then restart on the same one. Yeah. You're doing alright. Some people just put one line across the top. That's how we do it. Yeah, but the I understand in real life there is different ways of doing this and people do it differently, but I'm trying to get it so we're trying to take as many bales in as we possibly can. But, you know, that's why I'm out of cab floating around and not doing it in cab. But yeah, I, I kind of get that there's I have seen many ways that people have loaded bale trailers up, and uh, I suppose it's just your preference, really. But I have also been watching your FS17 map, Sparrow Hill Farm. Now, I actually found that map in my Dropbox the other day when I was when I was just looking around trying to find things. Um, that map was ridiculously tight. That. I had, there was actually some spots on that map that I could get majors stuck. They would actually get stuck because it was that tight. So, that map was ridiculous. But, it was quite fun to build. Um, I, quite, I, if I remember rightly, I built the cow shed completely out of, um, it took me about three hours and I built the cow shed completely from scratch. Um, without any, I didn't, I, all I used was like, if any of you remember, there was some RSJs and like sheep pallets and things that you could have, uh, and they were all separate. I used them. Put two on, two on the edge of the reels. Yeah. Uh, it was a good map, folks. If you turn them around on their flats, put a bit more, a bit more, and stack them on. Yeah, I could do. To be fair, there aren't, there's only 40 bales in here, and as you can see, we've cleared a fairly big space already, so I think it's not going to take too long, to be fair, but I'll, I'll stack them, to keep it interesting, I'll stack them different ways, each trailer load. So. To be fair, I could have probably used bale lifters, but they take quite a long time, and I'd need someone in the yard stacking, which is the issue, because I don't have anyone to play with. Oh, the trailer's at a fucking angle now. Wee. I'm not going to put two on the edge because it's not really that in, not really that needed. And I've got to get them off, and everyone knows what FS bales are like. So you put too many on, it can be an actual shit show. To be fair, you should do another season on Sparrow Hill. I yeah, if I can. Find someone to convert it over and fix a load of stuff. I'll happily get it into 19 and play it. That would be quite. That would be a really interesting map to play in 19. Doosh. Now, what I probably could have done is uh, stack these into what I could have done whilst I was off whilst I was bored yesterday is stack these all into twos and then I could have uh, put two on the trailer at a time but whatever it is what it is now I remember when we were playing uh, oh fuck me Senin Valley once and there was me, Tom, Mark, Joe, everyone that kind of plays farm sim that in our group of friends, we're all on it, and we, uh, and we had a um, the twenty B with bale lifters on, and we stacked three bales on the bale lifter, two bales on the roof, and then we had some bales somewhere else. I think Mark's got the photo somewhere of it. It was actually quite cool. I'm pretty sure I've linked one of these buttons up to be beacons. There we go. 
I have got my. To be fair, I've got my full steering wheel set plugged in with the joystick, but it's just I find the mice mouse easier because you can turn the camera. Please don't turn over. Uh, trying to stack bales of fifteen, but they just slide. Yeah, fifteen and thirteen. The bales were. They said they improved them. I don't believe them. I think the bales were ridiculously hard to stack in. Them two games. Um, if you the the thing that used to be on a if you're in a contract team on thirteen, the thing that used to be if you could stack bales in thirteen and keep them still, you were good. That was the general rule. Come on, little John there. I wish they'd grunt a bit more like real life. You know, as they slow down the revs, it starts trying to pull really hard and smoking. That'd be quite cool. But I suppose mods do have limitations and things like that. Oh no, there we go, we've got the ode. Oh ho ho, the hills, the hills hurting her. Oh, she's got a real nice sound. We'll take a quick screenshot. FS15 was annoying for carting bells. Yeah, it was an absolute pain in the ass. Hi, hi Luke. Uh, mine smokes when it's pulling heavy loads. Yeah. I just meant in the game. It'd be quite fun in the game. Now, we need to find a shed to stick all these in. Which is not going to be a pain in the ass. So, leave the deer there. So what's in this shed? All right. So this shed is repair. Cultivator is there. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So the spray is in there. Shut that. Up. What's in here? The mower and the seed pallets. Uh, does anyone know? Do these seed pallets work as? Have these seed pallets got triggers? Does anyone know? So I don't need to buy any seed bags or anything like that. What's in here? Uh, I'm assuming these are grain. You can put grain in here. But f I don't know where to stack these bales, to be honest with you. RJD693 is loud than than RJD, and it's newer. Yeah. Or are you in England? I'm in England, yeah. Uh, to be fair, both my tractors are ear piercingly loud when you're absolutely beating them on mowers. Because uh, <laughs> they're just. Uh, they're just straight piped all the way through. So these are silage pits. Sorry, I haven't actually had a good look around this map yet, so I'm just having a bit of a nose. So there's a spare shed here for some kit to go in. This is. Field 21? I think. I assume so, because it's got the road through it. So what field's this? No, sorry, this is the cow pasture. By looks of things. That's field 21. Isaac, hi Rob, you are right. Do you like the grass on this map? I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Um, the grass looks alright. I reckon they could have done a different texture, but it seems very low. Like, that doesn't seem like it's hay grass at all. Like, it's barely even up to that blue box on this post here. So, but I don't, is it fully grown? Does it say? I'm pretty sure this field is the one that's on about. Yeah, this is field 21. Okay, right, I get it. I can't wait to go back to school in about five, five million years. Yeah. IRL, there was about six of us in a mate's John Deere 2130 tractor, and we went over the speed bump with a trailer load of muck, and it shattered the windscreen <laughs> buy an 8340 nope we've got our tractor selection there is nothing not yet anyway not till we've got some more money right so where do we put the bales that is the question and I've
Um, I think I'm going to put them in the shed that's supposed to be for grain because then I can stack the straw next to them. Um, you can always use the farm top of the cliff, yeah. Put them outside, most farmers do. I don't really want to stick them outside, because I know most farmers do, but we've got the shed space and we haven't got that many tractors, so I don't see the point of putting them outside. Um, to be fair, we could actually stick them in this silage pit, to be fair. Because we've got the two down there. Is this an actual functioning silage pit? Yes, it is. So we could put them in there, because we've got the two down there, so we don't need... And then we could just put the hay inside. Um, actually, I've had a better idea. If we put the silage bales, or the silage maze, whatever we do, in this pit, and then we can put the bales in them two with the sections on, in that shed, which is this one here, that means everything's easy to get to, and when we're feeding up, it's quite easy, and then we just run the feeder down there. That's the best idea I've had at the moment. Uh, I was rolling yesterday to Massey 3070. It's a lot similar problem. Better off starting out. I don't know, though. Put them outside, most times do it. The same mate has a Ford to major, and I almost rolled it <laughs> whilst rolling a field. Just ran over my dog on Greenwich. Uh, rip dog. I just stacked 45 square bales in my yard FS. It's so laggy. Here boss, do you support the IRA? Uh, not really. We bought a new trap the other day. It was a Deutz Agri Farm with a hundred with a low drop. Nice. Nearly flipped our John D2140 whilst rolling on a hill. Put them in the grain shed. Yeah, that's gonna be the best bet. It's a shame we haven't got another load of tractor. So we'll put these this side, may as well. We'll just, we might have to turn the trail around as and when we need to, but for now, they should be fine. Now, I think we might stack them on their ends for this, but I'm unsure. Hi, can you buy a Massey? No. There's no, we can't buy anything because we've only got fifty-eight thousand, so nothing is being bought as of yet. I always fuck this bit up. It's the start in the stack in the shed is the bit I hate doing. Trying to just get them as far over as possible. Yeah, I'm going to stack them on this way for now. There we go. Is there a John Deere Pack 8 series for the John Deere 63? Why hasn't the little wooden block appeared on the front of this? Okay. For some reason it doesn't like being in the yard. Whatever. If you haven't got massy, you ain't classy. Yep. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If it wasn't for massy, my tools would be rust. There we go. Is this John Deere coming out on console? I don't know. I like stacking round bales, it's fun for me. I don't I don't mind stacking round bales, it's starting the stack off. Like trying to get him as close up against the wall as possible that I don't like. But to be fair, we probably fit the the whole forty bales in here, and it won't look like anything. So, but this is a good a spot than any, and I've just fucked that up again. I wanted to go that way. There we go.
got one. Now I am trying to do this as fast as possible so it doesn't get as boring, but it is a bit slow. That's all I can say. Oops, wrong button. The next trailer after this won't be so f uh, slow because we're just going to sell it and then whatever's left we'll slap in here. Um, that then just gives us a little bit of a cash boost because we haven't sold the grain yet. So, uh, And I think the next harvest that we do, which is in them two fields, we might plant one in barley and one in a money crop like oats or OSR or something like that. Just so we get a bit of cash flow. We've got like a high a high value crop, shall I say. Pick up two at once. Yeah, but I, I don't know. I quite like just putting the one down. Then I know I can move it around a bit easier. But yeah, I can pick two up. I'll, I'll put one more one down. So that top level's a bit more even. And then I'll pick two up. I am just going to go to the other side of the wall because there's no point stopping and making another thing. Would you sell your Ford for an 8 to 10 restore? No. I like my Ford the way it is because it's fairly original. I mean, I think someone's had a go at painting a little bit on it, but they haven't done that bad of a job. But most of it is still original. I definitely know all the interior is still original. So I wouldn't bother having a really store with 8210. Uh, can you get a bigger one of the JD when you get the money? Yes, I was thinking of getting a John Deere, the six cylinder version of this, um, as another tractor just for the yard. Which would, which would really help. That means you can leave something out, seeding or spraying or whatever. But that's just how it is. Uh, should get a 1455 IRL. Yeah, I should do, but they're really expensive, so I'm not going to bother. The two tractors I have at the moment are a nice size, and they do the job. So when I need a bigger tractor and more horsepower, considering the only thing that needs like a lot of horsepower is probably going to be that mower in long grass. But other than that, everything else doesn't need that much horsepower. At a farm, I was doing work for the boss. Son had. Just got a new old Massey. He was so excited about it, and 50 minutes later, we were towing him back to the yard with a deer. <laughs> Get a 6920 yeah, in medium tractors. Hi, Alfie. You should have. You should have a Ford. Hi, Hi Ben. Um, yeah, I, sh I should get a mod. I should get a Ford. Really, there is we have got some blue. There's a new Holland TM in the other shed. These bales are not liking this. I think this yard has something weird on that trailer. Let's pick that up. So I will try and get this done a bit quicker. Two bales does make the arse end of this a little bit light. <laughs> a little bit light there. Do you know when Sandy Bay is coming out for PS4 or Xbox? Uh, someone said yesterday that it'll be two weeks till it's out. So that's what I'm going off. But I can't, fa I can't say for sure because I don't actually know. Push that one back in. There we go. Oh, is that what's the story? Nothing, look. R3050, just look on Oxy's Facebook. Yeah, I'll get a 910, so S is... Oh, what the fuck, bail trailer? Why have you done that, you knob? Ah, oh, fuck me. So what's... What's actually happened? All the bales were moving, so... But I'm assuming, because that, that stand there is supposed to be a lot higher. The trailer sits, like, straight. So look, you can see them all moving around. 
If this bell trailer isn't going to work, I'm literally going to slap the cattle body on it and then that'll do. Let's get it out of the way. See, look, it stands perfectly fine there. Why the fuck? Why was it sinking over here? Look, it's not moving. The bales aren't moving now. They're all fine. The game is riddled. Yeah, it fucking is. Right, now I'm going to have to stack them pissing one at... Well, not one at a time, but... So, remember, we need to put the bale trailer over there. And then drive them all over. Now, someone did say getting a telehandler in the last... In yesterday's stream. That sounds... That sound of that John Deere is okay. When I stick high and low... Stick. When I stick how high the loader goes, it's the highest in the world. That's a good. That's a good shout. She put the TM on the trailer. Yeah. What I might do is drive the John Deere up here, tie the bales on, and then when we get up here, put the TM on the bale trailer so it holds it whilst I unload it. And if I didn't drive into fucking doorways, we would have this done. Right, yeah, so next load of bales we're just going to sell, load after that, which means I am just going to slap them on the fucking trailer, so they will look horrendous, but they'll be on. And I think if I put a flipped upside, uh, if I put an end one in that corner, that'll be a bit better actually. I would see. Right, squeeze in. Down. Bye. See you, Ryan. Oh, look at that! Perfect. Perfect. This hasn't actually gone that bad, to be fair. There we go. My favourite job is bailing. Uh, I quite, I actually love mowing grass. I don't know why. I sound so sad when I say that, but I find mowing really nice. Just me the whole making hay process, I find quite enjoyable. There's just something about freshly mowed grass that's really nice as well. The smell. I like slurry spreading. I've never actually done it, so. There we go. Pick that one up. I normally end up stacking trailers and small squares by hand. Yeah. To be fair, once I've done my small squares, I don't usually go back and stack them. That's the people that I've made them for. They kind of do it as and when. I have someone that does them, and it, he does them throughout the week. So if I do it on a... So last, last year, when I made him the bales, I did them on like a Sunday afternoon. And he just did them out throughout the week and just stacked them as he, as he wanted at his own leisure. So... To be fair, if I ever get a loader on the John Deere, I will be buying a flat 8 grab, and I'll probably do that as well, which should... Because even if you just stack them in the edge of the field and just stick a sheet on them, you can just sort of move them in, as not Would you buy a TM in real life or in-game? Because we've got one in-game.
love the smell of science bells. Yeah, there's no there's no better smell is there than working on with when you're working with grass and things like that. In real life. Eh. Maybe I'd get a TM. I'm not too sh I'm not I'm not very well read up on the TM series. Uh, Tom Law, who's in my Discord, you, he's been on a few streams quite a few times. His dad's got a TM140, and that is quite smart, to be fair. So, I, I, if, I would probably have one in that condition. But the situation that you run into is bigger tractors mean they don't go in paddocks very well. And as I kind of like doing the paddocks, because they don't take forever to do and things like that, I would... I'd much rather run the two older, smaller tractors I have that could easily fit in and out paddock gateways and I haven't got prune trees back and things like that, you know. What? You fucking better get a tear. Oh, here he is, crying his eyes out. I want your TM, Tom, because you don't use it. <laughs> Right, last bale to go, which we will just hook off. Boop. Make me an offer. He was rolling with it. Uh, yeah, that that him rolling with it and it and it doing a bit of hedge cutting is about the most it ever does all year. I don't want to make you an offer, Tom, because you'll uh, you'll you'll rip me off. I'll buy it off you, Tom. Right, there we go. Oh, best push that bale back on a bit better. Oh, it's on far enough. Mm. I have deep pockets, but very short hands. Very short arms. Right, let's get the next bale load in, and we will just basically sell it. We won't need to stack it in the shed, which is all fine and dandy. So, yeah, Tom has a Tom has a TM140, which used to do snow plowing, but we haven't had uh, we haven't had a actual winter for a few years. 5,000 and you're a deal. No, mate, you've got no hope of buying it off that. Do sound vid on your tractors. What, what do you mean? Just do a video of them starting up or... To be fair, I'd like someone to make a 2140 John Deere, because there isn't any of them about in-game, and I'd quite like one. Are we talking in pounds or euros? Uh, Tom doesn't accept anything, so I won't worry about it. You could give him Monopoly money. Ten and a Freddo, mate. Make it eleven and a Freddo, and you've got yourself a deal with him. Not enough in either currency. <laughs> Go on, Tom. Sell it. A Freddo, mate. They're going up. They'll be worth something. New Holland suck. Oh, I right know. You're now going to trigger Tom to absolutely hell, so... Hello, John. 
Uh, what's the crack? Nothing much. Two mil and a deal. Uh, Twenty in a box of McNuggets. Yeah, Tom, that sounds quite good. Twenty in a box of McNuggets. I take it at that, kid. You're never going to get a good offer. You love yourself a Fredo. Oh, I'll throw in a Tesco meal deal as well, mate. If I owned that TM, it'd be sold to you. Tesco meal deal. Sound. What kind of PC have you got? I've kind of got like a mid-range self-built one. I can't tell you the specs because I don't actually know. Because I actually got my little brother to build it for me. Because that's how lazy I am. Uh, do you like John Deere 7810s? Um, yeah, I've never had anything to deal with them in real life. So, there isn't a lot that I know about them. But they do sound quite nice. So... What's your favourite food? Co-op, meal deals, the all-day breakfast, triple sandwich. That is probably the best thing ever. What time can I come pick it up then? <laughs> What do you think of my Massey? Uh, I can't remember what Massey you have. Uh, do you work on a farm? Just you did hay work on that. Um, I used to work on a farm when I lived in sort of Burton. I used to work on a farm in Derby, for, and it was only a beef farm, so they had a one six five and a eight three forty. And then I moved house, and I fancied going back into doing that, and I thought, oh, well, there's not many people that do small square bales anymore, that will come around and make them, so I thought, I got into that, and this is kind of the story right now, but I do intend, I do like doing that. When did you start playing FS? I, the first FS I had was FS08, and I had it for Christmas when I was probably about nine. Uh... Do a multiplayer video with the lads. I could do the yellow one. Oh, you mean that uh, industrial? Is that yours? Uh, to be fair, before I bought my John Deere, the guy that I bought it off, he had an industrial Massey almost exactly like the one you've got. And uh, I was actually going to buy that. But he wanted... This is how silly it was. He wanted 750 quid more for the little Massey than he did the John Deere. So... It was like, no, I'll just have the John Deere. <laughs> Tom, we are in Discord if you're able to get in. What's your views on Dagwin? Had nothing to really do with him, so, um, but I don't really watch his videos and. I do find his stuff. I do find his stuff a bit boring, to be honest, because it's mainly just compact tractors he just plays around with. So, <laughs> Massey would have been more reliable. No, it isn't, Tom. It wouldn't have been. It actually, the Massey actually needs. The, when I was looking around the Massey, it needed way more work than the John Deere did. Um, I'm technically aware of that. No, you're not, Tom. You don't work, mate. You live on the doll, we know this. Uh, I want to get into contracting with a major, a John Deere. Um, I want to get into contracting with a major, a John Deere 2140, a 46610, and a 40W25, and a John Deere 7810. Nice. I don't do contracting for farmers, well, not as of yet. Uh, I only do it for people that have small holdings and things like that. So basically, like, sort of hobby farmers is kind of who I do stuff for. Just easier. Well, that's hello, New Orleans. You're all right. I do more than you slacking at the council. I do not slack at the council, have you know. I've been mowing grass. We we got called in to do important grass mowing during this uh, full lockdown. When people can't even go outside and enjoy the public areas, we've still mowed the grass. So everyone can look out the window and uh, hate it. 
What type of roller does Tom have? Uh, he has a homemade one which he made out of a rolling pin because his dad doesn't love him enough to buy him a natural roller. Uh, where are you based for your hay? I am based in Staffordshire sort of area, sort of county. That's where I'm in. I don't like to give away where I actually, well, near so ash abbots bromley's not that far away I'll, that's about as much as i'm gonna say so but i do i do about 20 miles away so i do abbots bromley yoxel places like that can you mow my hair it needs a cut yeah the one thing that everyone didn't do before the lockdown was go get air cut <laughs> Uh, I do a bit of contracting for Harbour Farmers as well. Hi, Zach. Not seen you stream in a long time. Yeah. Would you come to Ireland? Not really. <laughs> not. <laughs> I probably would if I was going over there to look at something, but not just on the wind, you know. Oh yeah. Hello, Somerset Farming. Yeah. I. I. The. The. Basically, the lockdown is boring me this much. I'm actually live streaming. To be fair, I've actually found that when I started, when I said to people, oh, I'm going to start doing stuff for horsey people and hobby farmers and things like that, people were very wary to say, oh, they won't pay, they won't do this, they won't pay up up front and all this stuff. And you know what? Everyone I've had to deal with, new customers and people that I had last year and things like that, have been easy. I've missed, I've literally gone done the work, sent them an invoice, and within about two days they've paid. I haven't had to chase anyone, I haven't had to go to anyone's house, I haven't had to do anything. I've, it's literally been the easiest thing. You know, it, it, it's been like they've just, they've got it all wrong. They've had to deal with like a few knobheads, shall we say, in their time. And they've all think that everyone's the same. But everyone I've had to deal with has been so, like, oh, we've struggled to get anyone to come do it. No one's coming to do it. Can you do it? Da -da 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 -da. We'll pay. And, you know, it's been great. And I've really enjoyed it. That deer sounds good, thank you. Hey guys, I was chatting to Zach yesterday and he said he's going to sell his tractors and buy a Bolaris. Tom, I said that in private and in confidence. <laughs> they are mint. Yeah, boy. Good thing you don't live around here. Where are you based, Scott? Sort of, roughly. Oh, it's not a Bolaris, actually, Tom. It was going to be an Izeki. Four wheel <laughs> a little four wheel drive Izeki. <laughs> Northamptonshire. That isn't actually that far. Does Tom have a YouTube channel? Yes, he does. Northamptonshire. That isn't. Uh To be fair, last year I was chatting to when I was the last sort of woman I did hay for, and it, and uh, that was sort of telling me that her neighbour, who has like a horse yard, they've got about 12 acres, which I'm doing this year, had to basically tell a farmer that he can come and hay the grass for free and take the bales away, just simply so that her horses wouldn't um, wouldn't be eating so much fresh grass throughout the winter. And it was like, well, if you happen to tell people to come and just do it. Oh, is, is Tom Dreadnought? Yeah, Tom is Dreadnought. You just, you want, you just want a major again. Um, I've got an international B414 at the moment that's being restored, but I don't know. I'd probably have a major again, but I wouldn't use it for anything really, so... What do you bail in? When I'm doing the small squares, it's usually... Well, this year it might be a mix of the two. I might take the John Deere and the Ford at some stage. But last year I bailed in the Ford and it worked... Well, I did everything in the Ford and it, all was, it was all working well. So I think we'll stick to that sort of situation. 
the John Deere will basically be another mowing tractor and go on the hay bob when it's rowing up, basically. Um, because I, I know that the Ford is quite good. Being two-wheel drive, it turns quite tight, so when you're bailing and things like that, if you want to try and... You've got, like, miss an obstacle or something, the John Deere is just horrendous at it, because it's... Well, actually, to be fair to the John Deere, it's turning circle isn't actually that bad, so... What's your favourite modern classic? Ooh, that's a good question. I I have to say, I, I haven't got one particular choice because I like the 10 series Fords. Like, basically love them because I own one and they're priest. So I'd have to say 10 series Fords, but I can't just pick just one, so... Uh. What tractor do you prefer, JD or Ford? Ford, because I want a major to do flying competition. Very nice. I basically prefer the Ford because the cab is so nice. It's actually ridiculous how up to date that cab is for when that truck cab was built on that time period. It is so advanced. You put it next to the John Deere, which is uh, the John Deere's 83 and the Ford is 88, and you put the two next to each other. And the cabs and things are so different. You know, the John Deere cab is nowhere near as quiet as the Fords. So that's that's kind of what I prefer over them. But I do, I do basically, I am going to basically use both of them. What Bailey you have? I have a New Holland 268 Super Hayliner. No tractor runs. I know. Hi, I'm in. Hi, I'm watching you for the first time. What do you do on YouTube? I do farm sim content and real life vlogs. Real life vlogs, real life vlog, feel real life vlogs of my tractors and stuff. Um, well, hello. Do you like 40 series New Holland's? No, because I had an absolute pain in the ass one that I used to work with that was a load of shit, and I would never have one again. Ryan, to answer your question, I have a New Holland 268 Super Hayliner. That's the baler I have. I have two Fords, but the Super Qs is a nice. It is. I want a John Deere 10 series. Nice. The baler I got off the neighbour isn't 40 years old. How many bales do you think it's made? A few thousand, I would say. Well, cool, I'm going to sub. Thank you, John. I would say a few thousand, uh, but I don't know. My baler, when I bought it, when I bought it off the bloke that had it, um, he said to me that it come off a farm and it hadn't in the last like three or four years it had only made about six bales so I used it last year and I made just under 400 and I think it only kicked out it kicked out probably about 10 bales that were a bit bendy or like banana bales as people call them and that was simply because I was still trying to adjust it I was still trying to find the nice the speed that it would like accept you know you could like the speed for what you could bail at and things like that, you know, because I was still learning at the time. I own a TE20. I used to have a TED and a TEF, both Fergies. My my round baler has at least <laughs> bloody hell, that's a lot of bales. To be fair, I'd like a little round baler and things like that. Uh, there's quite there's the three things on the list that I know of now. I want to get a little furt spinner like a wagtail for doing people's hay to get it, you know, so we get a bit better crop. Hedge cutter, and I would quite like a round baler so I can go f do the farms. A muck spreader and a slurry spreader would be good because that means I can help the farmer up the road and make a bit of money. You know, everything makes money. Money makes the world go round. So. Come on, John Deere. Right, so we're going to sell this load of bales. I'm sorry this has been a very baley. Uh, what horsepower is the deer? The deer in real life. The deer in real life, I think, is only... When I read it on, a, on that tractor data, so don't hold me to it because I don't actually know. It was... They said it was only 82. But I don't know how true that is because it's a turboed engine, so it should be more powerful. 
but I, I don't know for sure. I know it runs well, and I know... Um, I just want to alliterate, I want to just go over something. Uh, a few minutes ago I said that the Deer was 83 and the Ford was 88. They are not the years that they were built. Um, I actually got that wrong. They were like, um, just like a rough year. They aren't the exact years that they were made, but whatever. Uh, the guy who I bought hay off has a hay trailer that can pick up stacks of bales out the field. It's really neat. But it just bends the bales. Okay, it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get things called... Uh, like 58 stackers are they called? Something like that. And you basically can load the small squares. Up. They're like an auto stacker for small squares, I think. Tom, Tom Laurel, no. Do you have a car? What type? I have a blue Citroen van. I don't have a car. Because I have that much crap that I move around. I needed a van. <laughs> and it was going cheap, so... Right, last load of bales, and then we shall... That's it, 58 bale carrier. Tom... 56? Fuck me, I can't read. Uh, Tom's just put it in for chat for anyone that was wondering. Right, we have a choice. After we've stacked this last load of bales, does anyone... Do you want to see cultivating the field? Field 2. Seeding, or should we go mowing? She'd be good for over a hundred if you need more. You could screw her. Yeah, ah, shoot. To be honest, for what it is, it's fine. Uh, the horsepower it's sat at is fine. I think a lot of it is because it was sat for so long. It's, it's actually just like glazed over. Like the bores and things are all clogged up, so it, it like loses a lot of power because it can't do what it needs to do properly. Um, so. What this year should hopefully clean it out because it's going to have a mower on and that should really help it so the trailer you have to stack the bales in the field then back up yeah that's a f that's a 58 that's a 56 bale carry mowing are you going to record the hay yes I am mowing 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 yeah that's the one Scott if you need it you'll, you don't even need it need it for a 10 foot mower condition I have, the mower I have is a 9 foot PZ275, that's got a conditioner on, That'll, that, to be honest, the Ford and the John Deere run that fine, um, so, because the bloke that I bought it off only had it on like a little tractor, to, as well, it was smaller than mine, so, hi Zach, haven't seen you about Neral, oh, hey, hope you're alright, yeah, I know, it's been a while since I've done anything, but, that's how it is. Um, very, yes, I am going to be recording my hay this year. Um, so we might as well spend a bit more money. Because that's all we like doing on this channel. So we could... Let's get the rake first. Because I think that's going to be more expensive. No. 14,000. Now remember we need some money left over so we can seed the field. So we can't go mad. To be fair, I don't really want to do it with a hay bob. So I think if we go for this, because it's a cheap tether, and we'll go for that smaller rake. This is only a little rake, to be fair. That leaves us with a bit more money. What little projects have you on at the moment? I have the John Deere's cab to be done and the rear lights and electronics really need doing. And then I, but my project tractor at the moment is a B414 International Tractor, which hasn't ran in about 15, 16 years and was pulled out of a hedge. Um, that's currently having loads of work done to it at the moment, but the lockdown has mean I can't get over to where it is to fix it, so. But that's actually quite a nice tractor because the block isn't cracked or anything, and it used to have a loader on, and the whole, the plan is to have it exactly back how it was, so 
that's the plan. And I'm going to go get the TM because I don't like the way this trailer is shaking. So, uh, where is it? There she is. Brum. I have a class Jaguar 8630. Nice. Uh, hello again, hello Max. Oh, hello Kieran, how are you? Would you ever buy a JCB 3C in real life? Uh, maybe. I'd like an older JCB. Like. Uh, what was that? What's your Instagram? Instagram is Zach123 or Zach F123. It's something like that. It, it's got a picture of the Ford 6610 as a profile. Do you have a wheel for FS? Yes, I do. Why does that TM have a 40 series gearbox? I have absolutely no idea. I didn't make the mod. I think all it is is, is like the uh, textures, not the textures, like the stickers on the outside have been changed. I don't think anything else has really been changed on it. So, But this is what the people asked for yesterday, so that's what got bought. Um, to be honest, to ask about TMs, Tom is kind of the blow, the pain. Uh, I know the lockdown is a pain here in Ireland. I have a quad that needs a new carburetor and the parts have to come out of America and it won't be until next month. Yeah, I ordered something off Amazon and it's minimum two weeks before they'll deliver it, so it's a fucking pain. But luckily, I got my crankshaft, camshaft and everything for my other tractor uh, before the lockdown happened, so that's all here, ready to go on. I'm pretty good, mate. Just got my gaming PC back last night, new motherboard. It's going to be a fair. It'll be back fair. Super nice. Fair. The other TM has an awful wine. Yeah. Hello. Hello, FS. Hi, Oli. Can you link your Instagram? Well, what I'll do is I'll just type it in chat. I'll just type the name in chat because I can open it on my phone. Uh, Instagram. Right, okay, so it is exactly like that. If you type that in, you should find it. Is Tom gone? He probably is. He's, I think he's uh, still rolling his field, so. But I'm unsure yet. We'll turn that off because we don't need to listen to it being on. Turn you back on. And then these bales are going in the shed, so. I'm still watching this shitty content. Tom, you're supposed to support me. <laughs> uh, when you get your deer, I can update the windows faster than it could turn on. What? When you got your deer, I could update Windows faster than you could turn it right. Yeah, that's fixed now. That's what it, that basically that deer is steering is all done. It was a load of seals in the axle that had sort of perished over the years, so that's all done now. But the electronics have kind of failed. Yeah, the front headlights work while well, one he the front headlights work. One headlight works on low low beam, and then both of them work on high. Uh, the rear lights do not work. The rear sort of trail lights, which are like the brake lights and everything and indicators, they do not work at all. So they all need sorting, which I think I might do tomorrow. Trailer there, kid. What the fuck? <laughs> wouldn't mind ordering a wheel three weeks ago from getting my PC back and it's another two month delay <laughs> when are you going to do a multiplayer with Tom and everyone again I don't know the hardest part about doing the multiplayers is actually getting everyone together to do them because some people are like well I'll come on and then other people don't want you to record unless they're on and it takes the piss because they're not on till like 9 o'clock and they're only on for like 20 minutes, so it's it's just a pain in the ass, to be fair. Uh, 
Uh, when are you getting an Arctic Massey? I'm not. Is Tom far away from your house? Uh, Tom is about 40, 45 mile, I'd say. If you went the longest way possible. But no, Tom isn't that far. We've yet to do that hate. The problem about I was going to do that to come over and record the hay at Tom's. The problem was when Tom was doing it, like actually doing his hay at his house, I was still doing someone else's, so we we actually couldn't get over to do it. What part of the county are you? Country. I am in the sort of. Sort of in the Midlands sort of area. That's how I always put it because I don't I don't exactly know where, to be honest with you. You should meet with Tom in real life. I have. I've already been to his house twice. There's a little show called Ashbury Magna that we used to go to, but this year because the coronavirus has been cancelled, so but I've still got to go over because someone that I knew was selling a Bonford mower that Tom wanted, so I've picked that up and paid for it for him and I've got to pick my weights up and shit like that so there's I've, there's still reason to go to his house unfortunately how fast do both your shots are go well the Ford tops out at about 18 and a half I think 18.5 if that's that's the foot throttle to the floor and the hand throttle as far as it'll go the John Deere doesn't really have a speedo but I, when I was taking it to the repair place because I had I basically took it to a garage uh, well a farm mechanic to have the axle done because I didn't know a lot about them and uh, I had my granddad follow me in the car and he said when he was behind me he was just he was probably doing about 20 he said so but I don't know how true that is because it doesn't feel that fast so anyway have you ever been to the great Yorkshire show no I haven't does Tom have a channel yeah just click on dreadnought that's Tom bye see you later Right, make a vid with Tom in real life. Yeah, that's what we were going to do. We were going to do the hay video, but we might... We, uh, we might get the... Uh, when we take the Bonford mower, Tom said he was going to have a bit of a play around with it, so we might uh, film that. Uh, you're too slow to go on the motorways. If you can go 25, you can go on the motorway. I'm pretty sure it's faster than 25 you have to go to get on a motorway. I don't really want to take them on a motorway anyway. I don't actually have a need to, so. And to be fair, I don't think tractors can go on the motorway at all. Now that I think about it. We'll do a video, yeah. I fucking hope so. Come on, Tom. As long as you're in the left lane, you, I, I honestly don't think tractors are allowed on the motorway, no matter what speed they can do. I've is I've been alive 21 years and I have never seen one on the motorway, so I think it's dual carriages ways you mean. Right, we'll stack. Uh, we will stack these bales, and then we will get the mower out on the old TM here, and we'll go. Bye. See you later, FS. Uh, you got to do at least thirty for dual carriage waste. Yeah. Oh. Hey there. Great to see you live. Hello. How are you? I see deer and fed to JCB on motorways, and I've looked into it. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm telling you now. I've never seen one on a motorway. 
And I've been to steam rallies and things, so I've been up and down the country, like on the M6 and places like that. I have never seen one. F favorite brand of tractor, Ford. What's yours? I know dual carriageways are for tractors. I know they can go on them. As long as they do a certain mile an hour, they're allowed to go on them. But to play it safe, I never take anything that isn't a car, a van, or something that can do at least 70 on a motorway. I very, very rarely ever take the tractors. I always try and stick to A roads and stuff if I take the tractors to play people's houses and things like that, because I don't... Uh, neither have I. I've spent days on roads with my father and never seen a tractor yet. What mower? We, the mower we have in-game is a... GDM 4411. That's what we're going to be running. But I think we shall go for the old setup of the TM, which is the Crone mower at 2.8 meters and the nice side mower. I think that would make a nice. Uh... To be fair, we might go. For... We might actually go get the trailed tarot. That would be quite a nice thing, actually. Uh, what mower? Ford two sounds great. Look. Look a great prototype. Yeah, you can go on dual carriageways no matter how fast it goes, but it must have a beacon. Yeah. Right, let's sell the side mower. And we'll get this. Now we don't need the Oh. I didn't realise there was just big tire choices. Put them on it. Don't need that on it. Ooh. Uh, we'll have it like that. Yeah, that'll do. Bye. Right, we'll go. We'll pick that up and go mowing with that. After this, we won't use the John Deere. I'm a farmer, and I can clarify. I I have I have to go on dual carriageways and motorways. I honestly, I'm not saying it's a lie, and I'm not saying people are just saying this for the sake of it. I have never ever seen a tractor on the motorway. That's just it. I've seen them on dual carriageways hundreds of times, but I have never in England, I have never seen them on a motorway. That's just my thing. I've never ever seen them on there. Now they may have been on there, and maybe I'm just really low on the rules, and uh, maybe I've just never you know, never been on a motorway and seen a tractor on there or maybe I've just never read the rules right and I'm just not up to date but I can tell you now I've never seen one so we'll probably go three eye with this stack and then that'll be it Woo. I've seen JCB fast tracks on my way. Maybe, but then again, fast tracks can go at a fair rate. So, maybe. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Oops, I don't know. Like I said, I've, I've just never, I've never seen it, and I've never read it anywhere. But that's just me. You people may have read it and seen it, and it's fine. I don't know. All I know is I'm never going to take mine on the motorway, so it's fine. <laughs> Unless it's on a lorry. Two bales at a time. Whoop. Oh, steady on. Now, will it be able to lift high enough? Uh, come on. Do a video or a stream every day. I'm going to try and do at least something every day. Just to try and numb the boredom a bit.
scoop onto that one. So yeah, we need to keep the... Are you able to mod on FS19? I've done a bit, yeah. Is your Ford in-game? My Ford is not in-game, no. Uh, there's a bloke called Sam in my Discord who's making a massive 10 series pack at the moment. Uh, he's got a 6.6.10 in there. Um, so, there will be a 6.6.10 in there, but it won't be exactly like mine. I know that he's done a 7.6.10 series 1 a bit like Tom's. Uh, so. Will you ever draw pit silage if you can get a trailer? Maybe. For the farm up the road, maybe. You could tra Tractor for driving on motorways, a CMP man spokesman said for any aspiring farm out there tractors are tractors are from from being driven on motors rule 253 of the highway code prohibits certain slow moving vehicles and agricultural vehicles from using the motorway January 12th of Feb 2017 so there we go I was going to say, I've never, ever heard of anyone that's taken a tractor on the road, on the motorway before. I know dual carriageways you can. I wonder how many bales we'd need to fill this shed. Hi Luke, you're right. Right, let us slap that bale trailer away. We're going to leave the John Deere in here. This is going to go tedding. When I will pick all that stuff up, out probably off stream, uh, and be ready for tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what time tomorrow. <laughs> I've just been sat here thinking, what more on stacks? single stacks three high I do Tom that's what happens I do simply because I can to be fair I won't put it past this game to just fire them across the map soon enough do you like I like chocolate do you yeah okay yeah can you get a new Holland T608 Please. I will, but not right now. We aren't really going to get any more tractors yet. We've only got 34,000 and we've still got quite a bit of stuff to buy. So, there are other. Th we've got two tractors that can do the job, so. There is not a. Uh, there isn't a real rush to get another tractor just yet. Can you get... Oh, yeah, I've just read that. Right, let us get the mower and go mowing. Do pit silage in game. Uh, yeah, I sub to Tom's channel. I'm sure he'll appreciate that as he uploads regularly on a regular basis. Can you get a Ford? Well, this New Orleans close enough to a Ford. I will do some pit silage, I think. We may even get some of the lads on here to do it. Are you putting a front loader on your John Deere in real life? Um, well, the plan is Tom has got a new loader. Well, I say new. They've bought another loader to put on their 7.6. So the plan at the moment is I'm going to buy Tom's old loader and fit that to whatever it will fit to. But Tom wants to keep it for a bit in case they don't get on with the new loader, which is understandable. So, yes, I am going to fit one if I can get the quickie to fit but that might mean making new brackets or finding some brackets if not I'll probably have to stick it on the Ford don't run people over uh, it says you Zach I know I upload regularly mate don't worry about it nice love the vids outside thank you 
There'll be more to come in the summer. Like I said, we'll probably do a load of hay ones because I didn't do them last year because I was making that many balls up with things, you know, like the baler and stuff because I was getting used to everything and trying to get everything figured out and set up in my head. So I've kind of understand it and I kind of know what I need to do now. So it shouldn't be as much of a cock up. Let's pick this up. So as you can see, there's the cattle body for the trailer which we will eventually come put on but we will we won't be putting that on until all the bales are in so right let's go back to the farm to be fair trailed mowers overhang quite a lot when I towed mine back from where I bought it from I had to go that steadily with it because it overhangs that much it's a bit of a pain, really. It's almost like the Ford could do with the drawbar just to dra like to angle a bit more so you could drag it over slightly. Uh, yes, I am going to use one of the trail choppers. Uh, I'm not sure which one we're going to use yet. <laughs> the TM, that... Ooh, don't drive up the grass bank, neither. Uh, that TM's interior is really annoying. I know, but apparently the other one is worse. Uh, and this is what people wanted yesterday, so that's what people got. Isn't it a bad idea to put a loader on a two-wheel drive tractor? Uh... You... I don't know, it's been on Tom's tractor since Tom can remember, and that seems to be fine. But, yeah, yeah, most people say don't put them on because it wears all the axles and kingpins out and shit like that, so, but whatever. Uh, I will be using a trail thingy, uh, can I work for you? Uh, no, I'm alright, thanks. Ain't it just? Use the lally. Yeah, could use the lally. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do first. I don't know what. Not wrong with putting on two wheel drive. Yeah. I think for this, I think we're going to do silage. We'll mow it this this live stream. Then tomorrow we'll get it all picked up and everything. What I may do is plant if we don't have enough silage if we find we're running out too easy with only one field we might plant one of the fields in maize and get one of them harvesters right let us go straight round to the back here we may even mow the cow field just simply because I don't know Yeah, I think we'll mow the cow field as well. Just simply gives us a bit more grass. I'm not going to mow up here though because the telegraph poles are right in the fucking way. Hello, Ford. I know this grass hasn't fully grown, but it'll do for now. If the grass is supposed to look like what's on the left here, then it hasn't fully grown yet, but it'll do. Why no seasons? No. Because I didn't want to play with seasons, because it takes too long. Get Tom on farm soon after he's finished rolling. Uh, yeah, I could do, but he, he's, at, he's technically at work now, so... We're driving quite high in the hedge here, but it'll be fine. Paintwork's only paintwork. Uh, what graphics card are you using, um, and what is your setup? I don't know. I, I, like I said to someone previously, I actually just, my little brother just paid. For, well, I paid for the parts, and my brother picked them and built them for what I wanted really and this is what we got so I can't really tell you what they are because I don't actually know 
I'm making the really steep bits there for some reason, I don't know why. I'm not going to do the back pass around because that's quite hilly there and it looks a bit of a pain. The old bulldozer. I'll tell you what, we'll mow right up to here though. Look at that. Nice bit of fucking rocks in the old grass, do it some good. A few weeds never hurt. Uh, well, I've got my or my record, well, my live stream software is capped at 30 FPS simply so my internet will loads it at a standard. It'll it will do 60, but it it's like it's very jumpy. The stream is so. But in the yard, I get probably the game probably runs at about 60 FPS, so I probably it, it, I know I don't notice any drops in the frames, so. Is anybody else about to play because the vids are better with the lads? Uh, I don't know if anyone else is coming on. I I can't. I, I don't know who actually know who's in Discord anymore. I don't think anyone's in Discord at the moment. James was here, but he's vanished. We're only going to mow this field, and then tomorrow. Oh, you here? Maybe tomorrow we'll work something out and try and get some people on. But uh, we haven't got enough tractors, so we only need one person, real. I have a 135 and it goes 37 to 39 kilometers. That's fast. That's the fastest 135 I know. You should get a TM35, uh, TW35 in real life. I should do, but they're massive and I don't really need that much power. I don't think 135s are supposed to go that fast. I don't even think they are built to go that quick. Has it got a different engine in? Oh yeah, Tom's got third spreading to do because he's trying to get his uh, his hayfield like boosted up ready for mowing. Unless you stream the... Yeah, I could actually, Tom, I could move the stream till everyone else is on. That's easy enough done. No, same stuff. I don't believe that a, 30, a 135 goes 30, 39 kilometers. They're not that quick. Not even stock. I'll get all that kit brought back as well after we've uh, after I've done this. It opens up so it can go faster. <laughs> to be honest, this field isn't too big. We'll get quite a lot out of these, I think. The, the rows aren't as th like thick, and I think because the grass still hasn't fully grown. Uh, but I ain't too bothered about that really. Uh, what I might do is cultivate that field off screen uh, and let the cedars go and things like that. No, I'm alright. And then we'll let the um, cedars carry on for a bit. And then uh, that'll be it. Uh, they only go about 20 to 25k. It pumps more fuel into the engine to make it go faster. It's faster than... 
to be honest, you start, you keep winding that fucking thing up, it's not going to enjoy it after a bit. I, to be honest, I find it quite hard that it'll be capable of doing that, because them pumps and them engines don't really like being wound up very much. So you'd have to wind it up a fair fucking a lot to get it to do that. I know on the 35Xs and the 35s, if you did something in the gearbox and swapped some of the gears around, you could make them go extremely quick. Uh, Dagwin should buy old tractors and store it on his YouTube for money. No, he shouldn't because he'd ruin it. He'd buy like a perfectly good 3610 that's really nice with an AP cab or something like that and he'd completely fuck it up. So let's just let's just leave him to his Kubotas and compact tractors. Uh, gearbox would, wouldn't let it anyway near 30k. Yeah. I'm 11 and I drive tractors. Nice. It's only opened up a small bit but not full. It's his one. To be honest, it wouldn't... The, the back ends wouldn't take it for a start. The gearbox wouldn't take it for a start because they're only limited to do so fast. Uh, I know people wind like majors up and things like that, but majors are stupidly strong. The back ends on a major are basically bomb-proof and nobody knows. They built them to be bomb-proof, so... But you start fiddling about with it, it comes to the point where something's got to give. If the engine's revving, say say a uh, say a one three five maxes out at two thousand one hundred RPM, and you twiddle it a bit, and it does like two thousand five hundred, it's not going to enjoy that for very long because it's not supposed to go that high. I'm sorry, but I'm not lying. Well, we're not saying you're lying. We just don't believe you. Because a lot of us have worked on tractors, and we know that you couldn't you couldn't wind it up a small bit. They're not they're not restricted that much that you only have to wind them up a small bit. You'd have to wind that thing up a hell of a lot to get it to do that. Considering they they basically max out at twenty mile an hour, if that. Almost finished, I hope. And then we'll do the... Uh, what I might do is before tomorrow, or maybe even in tomorrow's stream, we might mow field 21, get that finished, and then we'll row him all up, and then we'll pick it up, and just do all the silage stuff tomorrow. And we'll get. I'll do this field, and then I'll probably cultivate that other field off screen. Well, not on a live stream, and get everything finished. Get everything brought back ready for tomorrow. Uh, if you had one million, I would give it to you. Thanks. My dad had a major, and it would go sixty-one mile an hour. All oh, right, nice. We use it most for the bogs and a few other bits, not much. You. You could wind it up as much as you like, the gearbox would still be limited. No weight does 39. There is no way it could do 40k, to be honest. Lewis Power, it goes 30 to 37 to 39 kilometers an hour. Push it off a cliff, didn't he? Yeah, 61 mile an hour with a, a 40 ton load of silage on the back with his foot off the clutch, yeah. down a big hill. Alright, Alan, if you want to prove it to us, on your YouTube channel, make a video of you driving that 135 at, f at 39 kilometers an hour, and that'll be enough proof. With nothing on the back, not going downhill, on a straight road, as flat out, as hard as it'll go, Uh, 
I got a case. It goes 50 kilometers when it normally goes 30. I clutched it going down. Yeah. Do you like editing vids? Not really. It's a bit of a ball ache to be honest. That's why I live. That's why I've gone into live streaming a bit more because it's <laughs> it's just sort of hit and go. Oh yeah. We aren't going to get much silage. I I should have wait. I thought the grass fields were growing to be honest with you, but. Nothing less. If you upload it, uh, I'm only 15, but swear, swear down, it will not. I I will not on the main. Can you drive the John Deere? Yeah. What will you do when you hit 10,000 subs? Um, I've got absolutely no idea because I don't think we'll ever get there. To be honest. Get a Ford, maybe, up road. To be honest, I'm not bothered what road it goes on or whatever. I just wanna I just want you to prove us all wrong, to be honest, because none of us believe you at the moment, because we all know that it'd be limited to what you can do. Afternoon, hello, Grant, you're a kid. Favourite job in real life? Oh, I love just making hay. That's what I love doing. I love mowing. The smell, the smell of freshly mowed grass is actually quite nice. I've never done any slurry tanking, so I can't really say for sure what would, you know. Uh, are you going to bail it or pick it up? I'm going to use a trail chopper and pick it up but we might get somebody on to go on the trailer for us uh, are you going to be, uh, not bad yourself I'm alright Grant uh, no he put a different gearbox in it he'd have to How? hi how are you my first stream welcome to the stream to be fair Grant's got a series 1 Ford and that does 75 mile an hour uh, that's on standard gearbox with a standard engine but he just he tweaked the engine I think I think well, I think all he did was he just keeps the cold start button pressed in and it'll do like 70 80 no bobs are you doing calves on Sandy Bay um uh, yes that's the plan is to do calves and then once they've grown move them into cows if that's how it works if not we'll just do both uh, okay is there any way of me sending a screenshot of the speed up on the clock no to be fair you can't really go off the speedos on old tractors because they aren't that accurate because they use the rev counter so it doesn't matter what um it doesn't matter if you have a screenshot of the speedo because you could just be sat in the yard with it revving its tits off and it'll just sit there at full thing and you just take a photo of that and then say. Um, don't You're better than Dagoing by a long way. Well, that's personal opinion. Hello, okay. Jack Games, don't diss my Dagoing. Oh, no. I... I I, to be fair, I can't stand him. It's just, it's just his voice. That's, that's it. And the way he plays games, it's just, and the, the thing, just the things he does, just annoy me. But that's my opinion. So. Getting down it. I could have had a front mower on to be fair. This tractor would have coped with it, but 
There's no rush, to be honest. You talks to gang. Hey up, Henry. You're all right, kid. I have a Mass Ferguson 550, a, a 1950, and it does 60. Yeah. Uh, can you get a JF Forager and the Donnelly trailers? Uh, I don't have any of them, but I don't know. Are you? Uh, are you playing multiplayer? Uh, no, but maybe tomorrow we might have someone to come on to help us collect all the silage in. Uh, we changed it in speed motor. What? Okay, I don't, I, I don't get what you're trying to tell me. I definitely know a one three five cannot do thirty five, cannot do thirty nine kilometers an hour unless it's been rammed down a hill with sixty ton of silage behind it, with the clutch dipped. And even then, I highly doubt it would get to that speed. But it'd probably go over that speed. But whatever. Uh. Are you using a steering wheel? Which one? This is a G27 I'm using, which supposedly they don't make anymore. Which is the same. Does the old master clock even go as high as 39 kilometers an hour? No, I think they stop at 20. Do you know when Sandy Bay is coming to console? Supposedly it was two weeks after the date it was released for PC, which was Monday. Name two of your favorite tractors, Ford 6610 and my international B414. I quite like them. The John Deere I like, but I don't... I quite like the John Deere, but I haven't used it enough to really like it yet, you know. Uh, the old one was broke, so we changed it to see how fast it goes. Well, then obviously that's broken, unless you've got it wired up to the engine. Multiplayer is funnier. I know it is, but everyone's busy, so I've got no choice to do it on my own. Uh, trying to read the chat so we changed its speed motor what do you mean it's speed motor what's that it's not broke do you mean you changed the clock the actual t like rev gauge clock that they have I'm getting bored playing the same apps on 19 yeah I know uh, but that's what somebody told me yesterday was it was two weeks from the date it was released on PC or something like that so it's a shame that giants just don't release them all at the same time because sometimes you do feel sorry for these console people because they have to wait so long for mods it's like unreal I couldn't do it Yeah, if it's a hundred percent broken, if you're telling it's doing thirty-nine kilometers on a one three five, to tell us how fast it goes. Yeah, but the thing is, on a one three five, there is no separate speedo. So the thing you'd have to wire it into is the actual reader from the engine, which runs off the engine RPM. So unless you've completely scrapped all that and then wired it in to read how fast it's going off the gearbox or something like that that's the only way you could do it because they don't have one manually so you'd have to spend ages fitting it you couldn't just fit a new clock you'd have to spend ages drilling holes and putting it all in unless you have an industrial one uh, I have a Matthew 3070 and does 30k probably does uh, consoles get no love in teams of mod, it's so unfair. I think the thing is, when you're on the Facebook place, when you're on Facebook and you see all these mod pages and things, a lot of there's only a small sort of percentage of console players that bug modders, and that's the thing that the modders don't like is being bugged because sometimes when they make a mod and release it for PC and it doesn't come out on console, it isn't actually their choice. Giants are the ones who choose where the mods go. So if they think it's acceptable for console, they'll put it on console. If they don't, they will never put it on there. There's no other way to get it on there. So. Uh, yeah, it was not so long ago. This far, this game didn't even exist on console. 
So the only way you could have it was on PC. We're almost done. This has been quite a long live stream. Very true, but still giants do not allow a lot of stuff. Yeah, the thing is they've got like, you know, the names of tractors and things like that. Sometimes they aren't allowed to put them on consoles simply because of legal reasons and things like that. It, there's got to be, there's, there's quite a lot of things to it. There isn't just the fact that they hate console players, otherwise they wouldn't have made the game for console in the first place. So... I know a lot about tractors and machinery. We have a 135 and it definitely doesn't go a lot more than 20k. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't. You got a Discord link, lad. Yep, I can grab you one now. Uh, invite people. Copy. There you go. Uh... If you want to play Sony Blade, I'll play Sony Blade on FS17. Maybe with a PS5 script. Scripts will be allowed. Maybe. The 135 is not on my Instagram, but I'm not plugging it. Sorry for annoying you yesterday. It's alright. Don't worry about it. Just when I say there's no, when I say no more tractor, like messaging for tractors, just don't keep going on because I won't be buying one. Like I said, we've only got 34,000 now. We're now dwindling lower than we were. Um, but I'm trying to get all this ready so we can get some cows, which means we haven't got to pay for fertilizer because we can just use the slurry and the muck to get it done. So that's the plan. Uh, but that's why we've only stuck to two tractors. When we get enough money and I can say we can definitely get one, we will get one. But what we might do is because we've got already got straw, we might plant both fields in like one field in soya bean and one field in osr just so we've got quite a big money crop saved up and then we're going to store it in the sheds for a bit until we either get a high a great demand or something like that but at the moment we've got a load of wheat in storage because that's what we harvested but we haven't there isn't actually a great demand for it but what i might do is empty all the other storage storage ones and sell everything that we've got and then start putting stuff in there so we've actually got a correct level of what we've got because at the moment I think there's a bit more in there than the what the what than what we harvested uh, Sandy Bay isn't is an on console mainly because breedy branding of the Russians yeah scripts won't be allowed this it's down to saying not giants but there will be limitless it's on my Instagram the 135 box yeah, y yeah, you can happily put your name in Instagram. We'll just check it out. There's no worries about that. Uh, and if you're using uh, like one of these satellite speedo things that you can download on your phone, they are the most un unaccurate things known to man. You might as well try and guess it with how fast the scenery is going past you. Uh, Giants said they'll put loads of vintage tractors but only put two in game. Yeah, I know. The problem is Giants are very picky to what they do. Like, all the DLCs we've had, you've got to admit, they've been for bigger farms. There isn't any... It's, a, it's the modders that have to pick up the slack and build, like, the smaller tractors and the smaller, like, TMs and things like that. Because Giants just don't seem to do it. Like that Sam making that big Ford pack. Once that's released, I will most definitely be showing that off. But I think it's for 17. I don't think it's for 19. Uh, the main line down to the tractor company. I don't want the old machine do. They want the new stuff of sale today yeah it's it's such a shame they're like that really and yet again it's the modders that pick like if this game didn't have any modders like outside modders that built stuff for this game this game would be rubbish if you had to just solely use in-game equipment it would be absolutely shit like they don't make any of the 
um, they don't make any of the packs. I remember in 17 there was like the Marshall DLC, the old time DLC. There was all sorts. And now they just seem to make massive DLCs that nobody wants. Are you doing a live stream tomorrow? Yes, more than likely I will because there's nothing else to do. Uh, I'm just searching for... Do you have Red Rock trailers in game? If yes, buy it. I don't know. I'm back. Hello. Console players don't always get the best ones in 19. No, they don't. I have a massive one doing this. I can't seem to find you on Snapchat. I'm not on Snapchat. On Instagram. Alan. You don't seem to be there. Here. Here, Alid, add me on Instagram and I'll have a look. That's my Instagram if anyone's interested. Yeah, I couldn't find him and I copied it to the letter, so. Anyway. This is where he's just sat there currently quickly making an Instagram account, putting a picture of a 135 speedo with 45 written at the end of it. Well, th with 30k. <laughs> ah, you've written it wrong in chat. It's the chat, ne the, his Instagram is your actual name that you've got on YouTube. It isn't your thing, because I typed that in and it wouldn't find you. Right, I'll, I'll follow you back. There we go. I have requested a follow. I'm joking. Don't worry. I've I've know you. I've got your Instagram account. I've requested a follow. Please accept my follow. Following. Right. So there is one Okay, so all I'm seeing is one photo of a 135 that looks fairly standard to me. Like not even joking. That looks It looks fairly stock to me. Is there no videos on your Instagram of it? Right, let's finish this. I play on PS4 and I always wanted to, uh, I'm always pissed that I see Zack with all the Fords and I can't even get a decent vintage tractor. I know, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> That's why I went to PC gaming because Xbox is just so limited. They just, they just limit the Xbox players so much. Okay, well. It's nearly been a two hour live stream. You wouldn't have thought if Sony and Microsoft have licenses for New Holland, they could they could put Ford mods because 
didn't New Holland buy Ford? They did buy Ford. I'm pretty sure they did, but I don't think. Um, I think just because they bought the company would doesn't mean they have. Uh, doesn't mean they automatically get the license. So, but that's a very grey area that I don't know anything about. So, where do you get all the good mod for? Mod, Ford's mods from. I just usually get given them or sent them. People, or I trade, or I do a few mod trades for people. Or I sort something out and some people send me them. Usually, you can find them on pretty on most mod websites, to be honest. Look at it now on Instagram. Instagram, look now. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking now. Hey, up the hill. Come on, girl. Uh, can you tell me again what the top speed of your 135 is? That's all I can see. There's no other. I can't even enlarge the mess. I can't even enlarge it to see what it is. So, all I wanted is if there was a video on there. Because at this moment in time, you still haven't proven it that it does it. You, all you've got is people saying that it does. Well, how do we know you just you, they're just not your mates that go? Can you just comment on my Instagram? Tell me it does four fifth forty. It's load. Is it an actual video? Big clock was around 23. Uh, is this what I'm supposed to be looking at? The big the, the the clock was around 23 miles an hour. So So 20 so 23 miles an hour is 37 kilometers, not 39 that you kept trying to tell me. So you were right on 37, but then you kept saying it was 39, so. Right, we're almost finished, and then after this, that'll be it. Yeah, alright, I'm not, I'm not dis, I'm not saying that it's not, when you said 39, it was like, well, that's kind of, that's ridiculous, but 37, when it's converted from miles an hour, yeah, that seems fairly alright. Because, again, you work in kilometres, so that's quicker. Yeah, anyway, we're going to finish this little bit and then we'll end the stream there because it's been, according to my software, nearly two hours, so I think that's good enough for me. Um, and then we should be back tomorrow, probably a roughly the same time, I hope. If not, I will... He said tw 37 to... Tw to th he said 37 to 39. Yeah, I know, but then... He did say uh, sometimes it was solely 39, but I'm not bothered... He has technically proven us right, so there we go. Can you put your Instagram link in the description? I can't find it. My Instagram. All right. go and what do you mean no well we're gonna well that's it for now um so i can 
do some other stuff for a bit, go for a walk around. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed the stream. Sorry, Alan, that we didn't believe you, but it's quite hard to say when someone says it does 39 kilometers. But anyway, it's pretty, I've looked on his Instagram, it is true, it does do 23 miles an hour, which is 37 kilometers an hour. So there we go. Anyway, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like down below, and I will see you same time tomorrow. Goodbye, and stay safe.